Counselor has to say about this! It should be obvious why you're here. Would you care to explain why you're covered in blood? I got myself in trouble because... I wanted to be sent to your office. To be honest, I can't stop thinking about you. I think the two of us could make sweet music together. Of all the... Ugh. Not only is it completely inappropriate to say things like that, it could also get you expelled from school. If you think you can get through life acting the way you've behaved today, you are sorely mistaken. I'm sending you home for the rest of the day. You are hereby dismissed. But the counselor needs to hear about this. I'm disappointed to see you back in my office. This isn't the first time I've seen you splattered with blood. I see a troubling pattern. <laughs> I don't have time for this. You have absolutely no idea who I am, or what I am capable of doing. Let me out of here now, before you get hurt. What? How dare you speak to me like that? This type of conduct is absolutely unacceptable. You'll be punished for this. That's it. I've had enough. I've spoken to the headmaster about you, and he's given me permission to expel you from Academy at my discretion. Under his authority, you are hereby expelled from this institution. Get out of my sight! Happened to you? Have you been fighting with other students? The counselor will deal with this. This isn't blood, it's red paint. I accidentally spilled some paint on myself, and I was just on my way to wash it off. Ah, I see. The faculty member who brought you in here was completely convinced that it was real human blood. I'm relieved to hear that it was just a misunderstanding. I'm choosing to trust you. Please don't give me any reasons to regret it. You're free to leave. I understand what I've done wrong, and I sincerely regret my actions. I'll make sure to never act in such a manner ever again. It's refreshing to speak to a student with a respectful attitude for a change. I'm grateful for your cooperation. I trust that this won't become an issue again in the future. You're free to leave. Hmm. You're in my personal space. What do you think you're doing? You'll have to explain this to the counselor. A car hit a stray animal in the middle of the street, and the blood splashed on me. If you're going to make up an excuse, you should at least put some effort into it. A child could see through your lies. It looks like we're not going to get anywhere, since you clearly aren't interested in having a productive conversation. I'm suspending you from school for three days. I hope it's enough to make you reconsider acting like this in the future. Why do you have so much blood on you? 
Did you hurt somebody? <gasps> no. Wait. He saw me at my worst. can't have you. No one can. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. with other students. The counselor will deal with this. What's this? The silent treatment? That's the sort of behavior I would expect out of a little child, not a young woman. You're embarrassing yourself. If you think you can get through life acting the way you've behaved today, you are sorely mistaken. I'm sending you home for the rest of the day. You are hereby dismissed. <laughs> 